while we stand. I was not supposed to be reading this scripture. I was supposed to be preaching something over there about the man Jesus. In fact, I put my notes kwa kiti hapo nyuma. Hallelujah. And when the servant of the Lord, Lady Queen, was ministering here, the spirit of the Lord began ministering to me. And he said, this time you need again to speak on an element in the Lord's prayer among the elements that Lady Queen had mentioned in her teaching in the morning. Hallelujah. Akasema kwamba kuna jambo hapo unahitaji ufanye magani kulitamuka. Roho wa Mungu akanielekeza. So sikuwa nimejipanga ya kwamba nitanena mambo haya. Hallelujah. And that one now it is in verse 14 and verse 15. But with the time nitafundisha ilo somo the man Jesus. Ambalo nilikuwa nimepanga kufundisha leo. The man Jesus. Uelewe ni kwa nini ninamuita the man. Alikuwa mwanadamu a hundred percent man unakumbuka wakati Elia na Musa walipo kuja kumtembelea Yesu wakiwa katika maombi na baadaye wakatoka saa hizo sasa Yesu ameishiwa amebaki empty Petero sasa kama atarudi kuchinja mtu sikio Yesu akijaribu kurudisha alita rudi saa hizo mtu wakifafa akaanguka hapo Yesu hataponya maana sasa Mungu alitaka kwamba usifike pahali penye utasema ya kwamba Yesu ameshinda kwa sababu ni mwana wa nani? Wa Mungu. 100% man that we learn from Jesus as a man. Born of a woman. Hapo awali wangeenda kumshika Yesu na na hepa katikati mwao. Lakini this time wakati roho ameondolewa ndani mwa Yesu sasa. Uungu umeondolewa protection imetoka ndani mwake amebaki mwanadamu 100% kawaida hata akijaribu kukimbia haizi polisi wakakuja wakashika ye. yule msaliti alijaribu mapema lakini hakuweza Judas Iscariot kwa sababu wakati ulikuwa hujafika na roho wa Mungu alikuwa bado ako lakini wakati wa kutimiza maandiko na unabii wa kale umefana magani umefika kile kinapaswa kusulubishwa ni mwili sasa Yesu wakati alipoangalia kwanza namba 1 akapasivu kuna shida maana kuna vile anajaribungu Yesu ako na mazoea anapomuita Mungu Mungu huonekana kudhibitisha amerudi kuwa mwanadamu wa kawaida unasikia sasa na complain anasema nilikuanga na ujasiri wa kuambia wanafunzi tunapopita mahali ambapo watu wamesulubishwa naambia wanafunzi wangu siku zinakuja kama na hizi ambazo mtamtamani mwana wa Adamu katikati mwenu sawa na jinsi mnavyokaa na yeye na alikuwa na ujasiri wa kuwaongelea wanafunzi wake kuhusu kifo chake maana alikuwa anajua ni mapenzi ya Mungu na ni lazima ifanyike lakini wakati uungu umetolewa akabaki mwanadamu wa kawaida asilimia Mia moja. Yesu akaanza kufikiria kama mwanadamu. Akaanza kurizoni kama mwanadamu. Uchungu wa mwanadamu wa kawaida ukamwingia. Kiwango cha kustahimili kwa mwanadamu akawa na operate kwa hicho kiwango. Unajua each one of us ako na level ya uvumilivu. Kuna kitu naweza fanyia huyu Wycliff na tuongee kesho. But the same same thing nikiambia nikifanyia nani Felix anasema a a a wewe hata sasa siamini wewe ni pasta. Ah, mnanipata watu wa Mungu. Sasa uvumilifu huo umepotea kabisa. Yesu anasema, "Eh hey, Mungu. <sighs> Sijui lakini ningeupendeza moyo wako. Ungekiondoa hiki kikombe cha mateso kutoka kwangu." Lakini hata hivyo, mapenzi yako yatimie na wala sio mapenzi yako. Inamaanisha Najipeana bwana isipokuwa siko comfortable it is painful <laughs> Mungu akujibu ilo ombi Mungu akafunga bingu I need to teach Jesus in this church Watu wajue Yesu ni nani because the amount of Jesus you don't know you will never see him But yetu tunafanya vitu vya Mungu tunafanya kazi ya Mungu tunatumiwa in some areas or levels of spirituality 
na tunafikiria ni Yesu anafanya kazi ndani yetu kumba yuko kiwango cha Yesu ambaye hajajifunua kwako hautamuona kwa matendo kwa maisha yako kuna watu tu wacha watu hapa mimi sitaki kuongea kuhusu ile kanisa lakini 75% ya wachungaji ukawauliza Yesu ni nani watakwambia Yesu ni mwana wa Mungu period lakini muuliza shetani ni nani atachukua siku mzima akieleza shetani na ndio kwa sababu unaonaka masaitani sasa inafika wakati Mungu akafunga bingu akaamua sitaongelesha huyu mwanaume maana nikimuongelesha mapenzi yangu hayatatimia na pia Mungu akafunga bingu kwa sababu hakutaka kushuhudia kile ambacho kingemfanyikia Yesu maana kile kilimfanyikia Yesu ni tofauti na kile kilikuwa kinafanyikia wanaume wengine na wanawake waliokuwa wanasulubishwa msalabani ile micheledi inatoka huko ikiwa moja alafu kwa hiki kijiti hapo wanafuka micheledi gapi sita na kila mjeledi mbele uko na huko akishika hivi mjeledi akiuchapa mwili wako unajua wachapangi ukiwa na nguo unatolewa nguo kwanza unajua maana ya kusulubisha wacha uko kuanda wa yamanaonanga wamevunga Yesu Yesu hakupigwa picha siku hizo picha haikukua Nimbe post Facebook mkatoliki mwingine <laughs> Ame okay, Yesu Mungu atusaidie Amesulubishwa na kutambaa kama kule Yesu alifungwa hapa Na ni msafi Acha chuchuliwa hizi nyama I love something funny Kado na hiyo msalaba yenye amefungwa yeye yeah, hakupigwa leo amefungwa kwa hiyo msalaba Kado kwa hiyo msalaba yenye amefungwa kwayo amevaka msalaba kale kingine kwa shingo kidogo sasa tunashidwa ni gani ni gani iko na maana kwa hiyo msalaba wacha hizo kale cha watu wa Mungu tunataka tufundishe Yesu hapa na maana ya msalaba na maana ya toba watu watubu kwa hii kanisa kuna safari fulani hautatembea na Mungu mpaka utubu kuna vitu fulani hautafanya na Mungu mpaka utubu Yesu akaangalia akaona bingu zimefunga sasa Mungu hana ujasiri wa kuona ni nini kinafanyika. Ona mtoto wako vile anachapwa mijeledi inaingia inarudi na nyama. Kwa sababu akikuchapa inagwama ndani. Unaona vile ile ndoano ya samaki na kuanga. Samaki akishauma kuingiza ni rahisi. Lakini kutoa anagwama kwa hiyo. So ukiforce kuleta hivi anararua nini? Nyama. Mungu hakuwa na ujasiri wa kuona. Biblia inasema akafunga bingu wakati Yesu alipoangalia binguni, akaona yule Mungu amekuanga akimuongelesha kila siku. Amefunga bingu, hayuko tena kumtia moyo. Aliuliza swali, "Baba, mbona umeniacha? Why have you forsaken me?" What a painful thing. Look at that kind of price. Ah, watu wa Mungu tukitaka tukianza kumjua Yesu tutabarikiwa. Maisha yetu itafunguliwa. Hallelujah. I wish we will get time and talk about Jesus. We can take a whole month talking about Jesus in this church. Akitukimjua Yesu vizuri, atutauza vifangio. Unaangalia kipofu kwa macho hivi yake inafunguka inapata macho yake inapata impartation kutoka kwa yako. Unachukua sikio yako unaweka karibu na ya kisiwi. Haleluya. Anapata impartation kutoka kwa masikio yako. Mtu anawekwa kwa kivuli chako. Yesu anasema ikiwa mtamwamini baba na mniamini pia mimi. Haya mambo ninayoyafanya mtayafanya zaidi. I'm able to do more than what Christ did in his first coming. Ah just support me just support me if you don't want to demonstrate you just support me you will see me do it you will see me do it i've seen it happen we can demonstrate jesus we can demonstrate jesus mtu anakuja ndoa yake imevunjika anakuliga kuliko anza kumpiga mateke bwana arudi bwana fanya nini kuliko muambie lala na mimi ndoa yako itarudi 
Mwambie tu go back to your husband for it is well with you in the name of Jesus the son of God. Anarudi kwa mme wake unapata wameshikana. Hata yule mwanaume alimtorosha na panga kwanza wanakutana naye kwa gate akimkaribisha. We begin to walk in authority. Jesus is the foundation of Christianity. So if we have to do anything in the name of Christianity, then first of all, we have to embrace the foundation who is Jesus. Lakini kama hatumjui watu wa Mungu, 